hello guys welcome back to the next video and in this video we're going to solve the question number seven from isc 2003 question paper in the new rule of dissolution which is published by council for the year 2024 and let's have a look what's the new rule this is the revised syllabus as per 2024 and if you look at this if the question is silent about the realized value of tangible assets and investments it should be considered as realized at book value itself previously this rule said that if the question is silent about the realized value of tangible assets then it should be considered as nil okay this is the new change that we have to implement the rest of the rules are the same regarding the payment of liability that is still the same it has to be paid out in full for intangible assets accrued income and prepaid expenses it is still considered as nil if the question is silent all right so let's have a look what changes does it make to this solution that we have solved from question number seven right so the transfer of assets will remain the same the transfer of liabilities will remain the same okay bank overdraft will not come that will straight away go to bank account and let's look at the payments trade creators accepted plant and machinery at an agreed value of 10 percent less than the book value and the balance in cash in full settlement of their claims this remains as it is as we as we had solved in the previous video okay so here in this case plant and machinery are taken away so nothing to be done no value to be realized out of it apart from payment to creditors debtors 1000 proved bad so the remaining amount is realized sita took over the stock so stock is also realized okay so which asset is left over relation expenses remains as it is 1100 payment of sita's son's loan will also remain as 2000 as per the rule that means the liability to be paid off if nothing is mentioned we have paid off the creditors as well so which asset is still mentioned here but nothing is realized so land and building if you see nothing is mentioned in the question about land and building okay plant and machinery realized stock realized debtors realized provision remains as it is and bank goes to bank account okay so we have to realize the value of land and building as per the new rule okay so let's do that land and building the value is 29000 so if we put 29000 here the credit side increases so our overall loss decreases by 29000 that is the only change which is happening here rest everything else remains the same right so 29,000 we put here our loss here decreases by 29,000 so the new loss is 4,300 which is distributed among the partners in the ratio of 2 is to 1 okay so this is the change you have to keep this in mind okay if you have been doing some using the old method then you have to change this to the new way of doing it and do the same thing in the exam if you have any questions to let me know in the comments box below i'll be more than happy to help you do share with your friends so that they're also aware and do not end up doing the mistakes or use the old rule while solving this hit the like button if this was helpful and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is shared thanks for watching